A very good afternoon to all of you children. In today's session, we'll be learning about noun genders. As we know, the genders are classified into four. Okay, we have already learned this in the last, that is the previous session. So genders are classified into four. Okay, there are four different types of genders. So we have already learned in the last session. The first one is the masculine gender. What is the first one is called? Masculine gender. The second one is the feminine gender. The third one is the common gender. And the fourth one is the neuter gender. Okay, clear? So genders are classified into. Okay, into four. How many genders are there, children? We have four genders. What are they? Masculine gender. We should be familiar with the term children first. Masculine gender. Repeat after me. All of you, please do say it. Masculine gender. Feminine gender. Common gender. And neuter gender. So this is how the genders are classified into. Okay, so let's move on to the detail. It's already been learned in the last session. So we'll do a recap of it before we move on to the uh, workbook exercises. Okay, children? So all of you, please be ready with your workbook. Take page number. So all of you, please get ready with your worksheet. That is, uh, we have already finished with worksheet 12, 31, and 32. Now we'll move on to the worksheet 13. That is page number 33. All of you, please look at the slides, okay? So we are in the chapter nouns, gender. As we all know that the genders are, there are four types of genders, okay? So the first one is a masculine gender. All of you say after me, okay? Masculine gender. The second one is a feminine gender. Feminine gender. Third one is a common gender. And the fourth one is a neuter gender. Okay? Let's move on to the detailed study of it. So, men. Okay? Men. Boys and male animals are birds. Male animals and birds. Animal, male animals and birds refer to masculine gender. Is that clear? Okay. Men, boys and male animals and birds refer to masculine gender. Clear? So you know what our masculine gender is now. Men, boys, and male animals and birds refer to masculine gender. Now we'll move on to the feminine gender. Similarly, women. Women. Girls. And female female animal female animals and birds refer to feminine gender okay or refer to feminine gender 
okay so women girls and female animals and birds are of the feminine gender clear so here it is clearly written there female member of the species i made it a little more clear for you the female member of a species is nothing but women girls and female animals and birds are of the feminine gender okay so genders are mainly classified gender is a term used to differentiate between the masculine that is a male and the female nouns okay genders gender is a term used to differentiate between a male and a female noun okay have all of you understood but genders are classified into four okay so they are the masculine gender feminine gender common gender and the neuter gender so we are on the second one we'll move on to the third one now this is a common gender common gender is nothing but it is a word used to that step that is uh, used for both that is both male or female okay the stands for both male and female are called as the common gender okay so the noun that stands for both male and female are called as common gender clear that is for example student okay that stands for both male and female okay student it can be male or a female okay so it stands for both male and female so we call them as common gender okay now we'll move on to the neuter gender as i've explained to you inanimate things or non living things are called as neuter gender so i hope all the four genders are very clear to you okay only we need to know the genders are classified into four the first one ivan nirmal i want all of you to keep your hands on the table all of you please this chapter is nothing but we have to learn it by heart there is no concept of such but we have to know that there are four genders the first one is a masculine the second one is a feminine gender the third one is a common gender and the fourth one is the neuter gender so i'll be asking you questions now evelyn atterton come on tell me how many genders are there unmuted ma'am yes evelyn How many four genders? genders? Four genders. Very good. Saharish, come on, tell me what is the first gender and explain to me what it is. Masculine gender. What you have understood from the masculine gender? A masculine gender is a male gender is nothing but man, boy. A man, boy, man. Yes. With, uh, and yes. Male animals and oh. birds. Yes, masculine gender means is nothing but all male species. Male, M A L E. Okay, all male species refer to masculine gender. Whether it's a boy, uncle, king. Okay, all these are the male species. They refer to masculine gender. Okay, Abba, come on, tell me what is the second? Very good, Saharish and Evelyn. Now, Abba, come on, tell me which is the second gender we have discussed here. Feminine gender. Be good, Abba. What is a feminine gender? Feminine gender. Are you a feminine gender? Yes. Yes. So. Woman. Yes, woman. Very good. Then girl. Girl. Yes. Of. Uh, female animals. Yes, female animals and birds. Very good. So all female species refer to feminine gender. Is that clear to everyone? All yes. female species. So genders are mainly classified into differentiate between a male and a female. Okay. Now we'll move on to very good Abba. Ivan, come on. What is the third gender we have discussed here? Third gender. Um, Yeah. Yes, common gender. What do you mean by common gender, Ivan? A common gender. Ah. Um, woman. No, common gender means what? What do you mean by common gender? It can be either male or a female, or we can. It can be both male or female. Okay. 
So a common gender means it's a noun that refer to both male and female. So what common gender, can you give me an example for a common gender? Yes. Nurse. Nurse, yes, nurse. Doctor. Doctor, very good. So we are not mentioning whether it's a male or a female, just we'll give them, we are calling them as doctors or engineers or nurse, teacher. Okay, so it refers to both male or female. Okay, so very good. Now, Aradhya, come on, tell me, what is the neuter gender, Aradhya? What is the fourth gender we have discussed? Aradhya? Aradhya? I couldn't hear you. Okay, Pavan, come on, tell me. What is the fourth What is the fourth gender that we have discussed here? Come on, fast children. We have to do the exercises which are there in a workbook. What is the fourth gender we have discussed here? Masculine is over. Feminine is over. Common is over. Common we know it refers to both male and female. And what is uh, the next, the fourth gender? Who knows the answer? Hmm? Pavan? Agnal Gills? What happened, Pavan? Agnal, I'll come to you later. Uh, Agnal Gills, come on, tell me what is the fourth gender we learned here? Okay, what is that gender is called? What is the name given to it? I know what you're, you have understood what is the gender is, the four gender is, but I wanted to know. Yes. Huh? What is the name given to it? What is that? Neuter. That's why I asked you to repeat after me. Okay, neuter gender. All of you please do say it. Neuter gender. Neuter gender means non-living things or inanimate things. So pen is a neuter gender. Book is a neuter gender. Okay, children. So book is a neuter gender. Okay. So, so all these are the neuter gender. Table is a neuter gender. So inanimate or non-living things are called as the neuter gender. Common gender means they refer to both male and female. Okay? So, doctor is a common gender. Male and female, we already we know it. Okay. Now, we'll move on to the exercises which are here. So, we know inanimate things or the non-living things are called as neuter gender. Okay? And the common gender, we know common gender is used for both male and female. Okay? So, now let's move on to the see of genders. Genders are classified into four. All of you, please have a look at it. Look at the slide. Okay. First one is a masculine gender. First one is a masculine gender. The second one is the feminine gender. The third one is the common gender. And the fourth one is the neuter gender. Is that clear to all of you? Okay. Have all of you understood? Once more, we'll say masculine, feminine, neuter, and common. Now let's move on to the exercises here. These are the masculine. I have already told you for every masculine gender, there is an opposite feminine gender. So here we have to learn it by heart. Okay, prince. What's the feminine gender for prince? Is princess. Okay, prince it is princess. All of you say it once more. Repeat after me. Prince, princess. Okay, now we'll move on to the next slide. Husband, wife. Here most of the words we are familiar with. Some of the words we are not familiar. So those words we have to learn it by heart. Husband and wife, we already know it. Now all of you please have a look at this slide. Brother, sister, we are familiar. Mother, father, that we know it. Now horse, mare. Okay, uh, is a male horse is called as a horse and the female horse is not known by horse, is known as the feminine gender, it is mare. So we have to learn it by heart. Okay, the masculine gender and the feminine gender. Okay, the horse, mare. Okay, now we'll move on to the next. So we all have, all of us have seen peacock. What's the feminine gender for peacock? It is peahen. Okay, see the picture there given for you? All of you look at the slide. Peacock, peahen. Okay, this is a masculine gender and this is a feminine gender. So here, all these we are familiar with. Grandfather, grandmother. Okay, here it is groom, bride. Okay, if you look at the picture, you may be knowing it better. Now we'll move on to this king, queen. King, queen. Waiter, waitress. 
waiter, waitress. Here, ESS has been added to some of the nouns so that we can change that into feminine gender. Now, all of you, please do take your workbook in page number 33. And right there, worksheet 13 has already been written there. So all of you, please do take it. Worksheet 13. Okay, it is gender. So I wanted all of you to please do write it. Okay, gender. So it is, we'll move on to it. The first one it is tigress, T-I-G-R-E-S. -S. So we know tigress is a feminine gender. What is the masculine gender for tigress? Who can give me the answer? Hmm? All of you take your workbook, open your workbook, take your pencils in your hand. Anna Maria, can you give me the answer for this? What is the masculine gender for this, Anna Maria? Unmute. Tiger. Tiger, very good. Tiger. T I G E R. Tiger, very good. Okay, so we'll move on to the next one. We'll move on to the next one. Princess, P-R-I-N-C-E-S-S, -S, princess. Okay. Renfred, come on. What's the masculine gender for the princess? Prince. Prince, very good. So the spelling here is P-R-I-N-C-E. Okay. So I wanted all of you, as you learn it, learn the spelling too. Okay, children. So princess is a feminine gender and the prince is a masculine gender. Now let's move on to the third one now. Third one is the empress. E-M-P-R-E-S-S. -S, prince, empress. So... Who can give me the answer for this? Mm. Sri, are you ready? Empress. Hmm? Who can give me the answer? I'm not compelling anyone. Who knows the answer can raise your hands. Yes, Esther. Come on, tell me. Emperor. emperor, very good, Esther. It is emperor, E M P E R O R, emperor, very good. Okay, yeah. so write Thank the correct you, spelling. Okay, very good. Now we'll move on to the fourth one. Okay, aunt, A U N T, aunt. Okay, A U N T, aunt. Who can give me the answer? Who's ready with the answer here? Jisil, come on. Jisil. Yes, uncle, very good. Aunt, it is uncle. U N C L E, uncle. Very good. Just you, all of you, please do write to children. Don't be simply sitting there. I wanted all of you to please write it. Yeah. I wanted all of you to write it, children. Unless you write and learn, you're not going to study this. Mute it. All of you, please mute it. Yes. Now. We'll move on to the next word. Aunt and uncle is over. Now we move on to the fifth one. Fifth one, it is bright. This we have already seen in the slide. B-R-I-D-E, bright. Okay. Can anyone tell me what is the masculine gender for brightest? Saharish, come on, Saharish. Yes. 
Unmute it, Sanvish. Groom. Ah, groom. Very good. Groom. G R O O M. Groom. Okay. Now we'll move on to the next one. Knees. I don't think so. You'll be finding the answer for this. N I E C E. Knees. Okay. So. Knees. Who can give me the answer? Anybody knows it? No. Knees. The masculine gender is? It is nephew. N E P H E W. Nephew. Okay. Knees are nephew. <coughs> For your father and mother, we are son and daughter. But for your uncle and aunt, do you, don't you have uncle and aunt children? And for them, you are niece or nephew. Okay. If it's a feminine gender, we call them as niece. And if masculine gender is nephew. Is that clear? Have you understood the difference? For your uncle and aunt. Your uncle and your aunt, you are not the daughter or the son. You are the niece or the nephew. Okay. That is your mother's brothers or father's brothers or sisters for them. Nephew and niece. Nephew is a masculine gender and niece is a feminine gender. And the seventh one we move on to. The seventh one, it is granddaughter. G-R-A-N-D, grand. Daughter, D A U G H T E R. So, what do we write here? It's very simple. What is it, children? Do you want to try the answer for this? What will be the answer? Who can give me the answer for this? Yes, Amaya, sir. Come on, Amaya. Granddaughter? Grandson. Very good, grandson. That's what I told you. The sum of the words are very easy for us. Only the few words which are a little bit difficult, you have to learn the spelling too. Okay? So, nephew and niece may be a new term for you. Horse and mare, you have to learn. So, similarly like this, see that you have to learn all the other words we are familiar with. Okay then. Now, we'll move on to the eighth one. It is cow. I think some of this also you know it. Cow. Well, Joshi, can you try it? What is the masculine gender for cow? Just yeah. try. If you're able to do it, do it. Mm. Cow. Last Cow. class I've done it. Cow. Cow what? Cow. Who can give me the answer? Hmm? Who can give me the answer? You can raise your hands. Cow? Masculine gender? Yes, Ayush. Come on. A Cow? Cow? Bull, very good. Cow is bull. Children, we are learning masculine and the feminine gender. So as I've already told you, for every masculine gender, there is an opposite feminine gender. Some of the words we can add, adding E is like prince, uh, host, okay, waiter. All these words, we can just add ESs to make it, we can change it into feminine gender. But not all the words are like that. So some of the words entirely differs. Okay. So only way to learn is that we have to learn it by heart. Okay. As you write and study, you may get it. No other way for this. Masculine and the feminine gender has to be learned by heart like mathematical tables. Okay. Together with the spellings. Ninth one. Vixen. You're not familiar with these words. And I know. Who knows it? Tell me. Saharish? Fox. Yes, very good, Saharish. Fox. Fox it is. Okay. So for vixen, for she fox, we call it as vixen. For a male fox, we call it as male, a fox. Okay. Now we'll move on to the tenth one. Tenth one is authoress. A-U-T-H-O-R-E-S-S. -S, authoress. Okay. So. Yes, authoress. So, 
Who can make an attempt for this? Can give me the answer, Aradhya, are you ready? Aradhya, come on. What is the uh, masculine gender for authoress? Author. Mm. Author, very good. Author. A-U-T-H-O-R, author. Very good. Okay. Now we'll move on to the 11th one. Heroine. All these words we are familiar with. Every day we are listening to this heroine. So what is the opposite gender for this heroine? Sorry. Who can give me the answer? Fida, come on. What's the, ma uh, what's the masculine gender for heroine? Hero. Hero, very good. Hero. That's what. Hero. Okay. Now we'll move on to the last word. That is the 12th word. That is the waitress. Who can give me the Wait, answer for this? Hmm? Who can give a try for it? Ma'am? Yes. Who's calling me? Andrea, Ma come on. Aradhya. Aradhya, wait. Andrea? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Come on. Give me the answer. Waitress. What's the masculine gender for waitress, Ara? Andrea? It's very easy, you know. Mm. It is? Yeah. Waiter, that's all. Okay, waiter. W A W A I T E R. Waiter. Okay, so all of you, please do check your workbook, children, in page number 33. The same words are repeated twice. But I wanted all of you to write it twice. First, I thought to strike it away. Then I thought it's better that you write twice because we can learn it. Okay, so have all of you understood? Yes. 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 Have all of you finished all the 12 words? Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. 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 And the remaining, that same words, 1 to 12 words are repeated again. So I wanted all of you to write it how many times in your workbook? How many times you will write? 10. Four times. Ten. That is one. Okay. And the notes will be sent to you. Before we meet on Friday, I wanted all of you to learn. So 12 plus 12, you have only 24 words to learn. So learn it with the spelling. And once we meet on Friday for the next session, we'll be doing a test paper on worksheet 12 and 13. That is good. Okay? Is that clear? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. All of you? Yes, ma'am. All of you finished? Yes, ma'am. I wanted all of you to learn. Page number 33, I wanted all of you to write it after finishing your workbook. See that, that you write it in your rough book for three times, okay? Yes. Yes. Yes, children? Yes. So, children, bye, bye children. It's time up. Bye, ma'am. Yes, children, it's time for us bye, to wind up today's bye, session. Bye, 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 b